Hello, my name is Emily Rose, and I teach tarot readers and the mystically minded to read Lenormand like they're talking to a friend. And today we are here to learn all about the bear card. Let's go ahead and get started. The bear card can be one of the trickiest cards to master in Lenormand, and that's because it has a somewhat wide range in terms of what the bear can mean. So I see new and practiced readers stumbling with this card sometimes. So what I want to do today is break down the essence of the bear card and also give you some strategies. So when the bear card appears in your reading, you know exactly what it's talking about. To understand the essence of the bear card, I like to picture a bear in my mind. And the first thing I think about is a mama bear, a bear that is protective of her cubs and will stop at nothing to ensure that they are safe and defend off others who may be trying to threaten her cubs. The other thing I think about with the bear is that they are overbearing. They're large and in charge, and they're not afraid to take up space. A bear is also very strong and can really knock over anything it wants to. And also a bear hibernates for winter, right? They eat and eat and eat in order to store up and have enough reserves for the winter. So that's just a very quick snapshot of the bear in my mind. Now let's talk about how this translates to Lenormand. So when we think about the bear card in Lenormand, it can mean a variety of different things. As we just broke down the bear in terms of what we observe about the animal, there's a lot of elements going on there that are somewhat different. So the first thing I think about with the bear is the mama bear, right? The bear protecting um, her cubs. And so for that reason in Lenormand, the bear can be representative of a mother figure. Sometimes um, a, the mother of the querent or a mother figure, a mother-in-law, someone like that. The bear can also be representative of a boss, especially in a work context. And if you think about that, that's because of the power that the bear has. The bear can also be representative of strength. And I've seen it come up in my readings a lot to describe someone's personality, especially if it's describing a person, we're not in a work or family context, then it tends to show someone who's overbearing, that has a big personality that can't be ignored. I kind of think about a personality that's like a bull in a china shop, right? The bear can also represent nutrition, especially in a health context. And that's because if you think about it with the bear, they are storing up their reserves for winter. They're eating and eating and eating. So diet has a lot to do with the bear. So you can think about diet and nutrition being um, associated with the bear card. And also because they're storing up for winter, you can also think of the bear as long-term finances. So if you are in a financial or work setting, the bear can also be representative of that. So that's a lot of meanings, right? There's a lot that we could talk about with the bear card. So now how did we decipher what the heck the bear means if there are so many meanings? I have some strategies for you, so let's break those down. The main way to know what the bear card means when it shows up in your readings is all in the prep. You want to make sure you're asking a clear question so you get a clear and concise answer. In Lenormand, context is queen. So the more specific you are in your context, if you are sticking in one lane, such as family or finances or work, then it's much easier to tell what the bear is speaking to because you are clearly defining the parameters of your question. 
Now, that being said, there are some tricky contexts you may be in, such as family finances, right? <laughs> in that case, does the bear represent your mother or does the bear represent finances, right? So what will happen over time and with experience and also with intention is you will get better at knowing when a context might be a little trickier. And what I recommend doing in these cases is to charge cards. What I mean by charging cards is assigning cards to represent certain aspects of your life or the queerance life so that when that card shows up, you know exactly what it's talking about. So if we were in a family finance context, maybe you want to know about your mother's finances, you may charge the woman card to represent your mother, and then you may put extra intention into the bear card to represent finances or charge the bear card as finances. That way, when those cards show up, there's no confusion. To charge a card, you just want to put extra intention into that card before you actually pull the cards out for your spread. My recommendation with the bear card, especially in daily draws or when you're reading for yourself kind of experimentally, is to leave it open and see how the events actually play out in your real life. So you may ask a question, pull cards, not kind of put extra intention into the bear because you're just practicing on your own and then see how it plays out. How did the bear play out? I recommend leaving it open as often as you can so you can kind of let the cards speak to you and they'll kind of tell you how to interpret the bear in different contexts if you are astute and paying attention. It's a relationship, right? You're learning how the cards communicate with you. If you would like to further build your Lenormand skills and your relationship with the cards, I do offer a totally free mini course, which you can find at emilyrosedivination.com slash mini course. And I also have a page that is dedicated to the bear card and it has some additional example spreads and there's also another freebie on there as well so i will link that down below i hope that helps with understanding the bear card a little bit more please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know how you liked this video in the comments below thank you so much for joining me